Low Earth satellites orbit between approximately 200 and 2,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. You can see here that there is a representation from NASA of the distribution of low Earth orbit satellites. Most orbit below the inner Van Allen radiation belt which extends from around 1,000 to 6,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Orbital velocities vary with altitude from approximately 7.78 by 10 to the 3 meters per second at 200 kilometers altitude to approximately 7.12 by 10 to the 3 meters per second at 1,500 kilometers altitude. Low Earth orbit satellites complete many orbits in a day. The International Space Station, as an example, which orbits at approximately 400 kilometers altitude, has an orbital period of approximately 93 minutes. About every hour and a half, the International Space Station completes one orbit of the Earth. Geostationary satellites. These satellites orbit the Earth above the equator at an altitude of around about 36,000 kilometers and they have orbital velocities of approximately 3.07 by 10 to the 3 meters per second. Geostationary satellites orbit within the outer Van Allen radiation belt, which extends from approximately 13,000 to 60,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Geostationary satellites have an orbital period of 24 hours, so they remain fixed above a particular point on the surface of the Earth. This is an image from NASA once again showing the geostationary satellites which are the outer ring of satellites and you can see that there's quite a concentrated ring of satellites in geostationary orbit. You can also see in this diagram the density of low Earth orbit satellites which are much closer in towards the Earth and almost obscure the Earth in this image. The Van Allen belts are toroidal belts which surround the Earth. As you can see, they're essentially tire-shaped or donut-shaped. The outer Van Allen belt is shown in blue, and the inner Van Allen belt is shown in red. The charged particles making up the inner Van Allen belt are believed to be the result of the bombardment of the Earth's outer atmosphere by cosmic rays from outside the solar system whereas the particles making up the outer Van Allen belt are believed to mainly come from the solar wind. The particles making up both of these belts spiral back and forth along the Earth's magnetic field lines, being reflected near the poles where the Earth's magnetic field is more intense. Satellites orbiting within the Van Allen belts need to be designed specially to take account of this radiation. Comparison between low Earth orbit and geostationary satellites. Low Earth orbit satellites, as stated before, orbit between 200 and 2,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, whereas geostationary satellites orbit around 36,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. The orbital velocity in thousands of meters per second for low Earth orbit satellites are around about 7.12 to 7.78, Whereas for geostationary satellites, it's 3.07 thousand meters per second. The period of low Earth orbit satellites is from approximately one and a half to just over two hours. Whereas geostationary satellites, pretty much by definition, have a 24 hour orbital period. Low Earth orbit satellites therefore have higher orbital velocities, much shorter orbital periods, and much lower altitude above the Earth's surface than do geostationary satellites. Orbital decay. Low Earth orbit satellites experience drag from the Earth's outer atmosphere. As these satellites spiral in, the drag increases, and in the diagram, which is once again courtesy of NASA, you can see a representation of a low Earth orbit satellite spiraling in, and that the spiral becomes steeper as it gets closer in towards the Earth. The scale on this diagram is exaggerated, but it is otherwise an accurate representation of what happens. The gases in the thermosphere, which range from approximately 100 to 700 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, 
are diffuse, but they still act as gases. They're part of the atmosphere, and they behave as gases, but they're very much more diffuse than the gases are closer to the Earth's surface. Ionized gas molecules in the lower parts of this layer interact with the solar wind to produce the northern lights. And you can see here that there is a picture, yet again courtesy of NASA, which shows the northern lights as seen from the International Space Station. This diagram is a representation of the Earth's atmosphere. You can see that the exosphere extends from the top of the thermosphere to around about 10,000 kilometers altitude. Gas molecules in the exosphere are gravitationally bound to the Earth, but are so far apart that they do not actually behave as gases. The particles are gravitationally bound to the Earth, but are so far apart that they do not effectively interact with each other. The exosphere gradually merges into space. There is no hard edge to the exosphere, or in fact to any other atmospheric layer. Orbital decay. The orbit of the International Space Station, which is, as stated before, approximately 400 kilometres altitude, decays by around about 2 kilometres per month. To compensate for this, fuel has to be burnt to maintain orbit. Summary. Low Earth orbit satellites orbit at an altitude of between 200 and 2,000 kilometres above the surface of the Earth, below the inner Van Allen belt. They have an orbital velocity of approximately 7.78 by 10 to the 3 metres per second at around 200 kilometres altitude and orbit the Earth many times in a day. Geostationary satellites orbit above the equator at an altitude of approximately 36,000 kilometres above the surface of the Earth within the outer Van Allen belt. Orbital velocity for a geostationary satellite is approximately 3.07 by 10 to the 3 metres per second, and they have an orbital period of 24 hours. Low Earth orbit satellites have higher orbital velocities, shorter orbital periods, and lower altitude above the Earth's surface than do geostationary satellites. In this table, you can see that low Earth orbit satellites orbit between around 200 and 2,000 kilometres, whereas geostationary satellites orbit at an altitude of approximately 36,000 kilometres. The low Earth orbit satellites have higher orbital velocities than do geostationary satellites, and have an orbital period of around one and a half to just over two hours whereas geostationary satellites have an orbital period of 24 hours. Orbital decay. Low Earth orbit satellites experience drag from the Earth's outer atmosphere. The orbit of the International Space Station, which is at 400 kilometers within the thermosphere, decays by approximately 2 kilometers per month. 